hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be learning how to cut a short bridal dress it's going to be a short dress that you can wear for cut wedding so let's get right into the tutorial so i have all the materials needed here so i have my two net here this is a two net i have the bridal satin doll face bridal satin I have the lace itself, I have the lining, and I have the bias, which I'm going to be using for the looks. If you check the pictures, the picture of the dress, you will see that the back has um, a loops. So I'm going to be doing that. Then I would also, so I'm going to be doing that. So. I'm going to be cutting the first layer. So I'm going to be showing how I'll draw out what the dress look like. I'm going to sketch it on a paper so I can explain to you what to do, the first thing to cut and the next thing to cut. So I'll do a little illustration on this tile. So this is the front. This is for the this is how the front will look like. So the first one here is going to be the lace. This is the lace. So under the lace here we have the so underneath here we have the the brighter satin is the tube. This tube here is the brighter satin and it's going to be under the lace. And I'm under the lace. So and it's a princess that cuts, and also once I'm done doing doing all joining and all that, there's going to be a belt here, and I'm going to be using bridal satin for the belt. So for the flare here, you'll be needing like four steps. The first one is the net. That's going to be the one outside, the outer one, which is the net. The two nets. I'm using two layers. So the two layers, I'm going to, I'll, I'll be cutting them the same, the same length. I'm using two layers of net, and I'm cutting it in 360 degree flay, and I'm adding 15 inches to the waist so that I can pleat the um, net around the waist. So the next one, so this is the net, this is a two net here. So the next one is the brighter satin. And this is going to be the bridal satin. So the bridal satin will be one and a half inch shorter than the than the net. You can also use two inches. It can be shorter by two inches. Then I have the lining. So the lining can be three inches shorter than the bridal satin. The lining will be three inches shorter than the bridal satin. So. So the brighter the brighter satin, I'm also cutting 360 degree flay. The net is 360 degree flay, but the the lining I'm going to be using um nine, a 90 degree flay for the lining because I'm going to be pleating ad nets, three steps of ad nets on it. So the same thing for the flare at the back, you are doing it the same way. And also at the back here, you can see the the neck this is a v neck and there's going to be loops at the back there's going to be loops at the back and is it will extend to the flare as well that's what i have around here so after cutting this side out i need to cut the side the center side of the flay too okay so this is it so i'll show you how it looks after you know cutting the whole thing so guys this is the front bodies i've already marked all my points on the on the fabric already so i'm using a princess that bust here so if you want to know how i did this princess that bust here just check the description box below i have a video on how to on how to do a princess that bust here so I'll just explain what I did around here. So from this starting point here to this hemline here, 
I took my um, the half length measurements to determine your half length. You measure your under bust and add two inches or two and a half inches. It depends on how flat your tummy is. So now I did my shoulder to uh, to bust point, then my shoulder to the under bust. So the neck width I'm using is three is four inches and i came down the neck depth is three and half okay so now i took half an inch on this side and i took one inch around this side i took half an inch here i took one inch here i did the same thing around here then i curved the lines together so i also after the whole thing you impute your measurements there so on the whatever you take out of here, make sure you add it back to your measurement plus your seam allowance. Anything you take off around here, make sure you you know return it back and also add your seam allowance there. So from the shoulder, I did a mark here. If you check the picture of the style I'm doing very well, you'll see that the inside is going to be a tube. The brighter satin is going to be a tube, but I'm going to be putting the lace on top why the brighter satin is going was is going to be under the lace so the brighter satin is going to be in form of a tube so that was why i measured this here so i'm not going to cut off the tube yet because i'm still going to use this to cut out the lace so once i'm done cutting the lace then i can now cut out you know this yoke away and then create the tube i want so I've also marked out the points, my, you know, the bust measurements, the under bust measurements and the waistline. So around here, you see what I did here? I took out the seam allowance. This is the seam allowance here. The seam allowance. So from the seam allowance, I went up by half an inch, then connect it. You need to curve this side, okay? So I connected, I connected it. So on the, the length, I added one inch extra seam allowance to it because it's a princess that you might be short the length might be short at the end of joining so i like adding you know extra one inch um extra one inch to the length to the end of the half scale bodies so now because this is a kind of a tube i'm going to connect you know i, I haven't created the the shape of the tube so I'll just do that now so you just place your French curve on this place and then you create create it So this is what I have around here. So I will do this side too. So now this is what I have after creating. You you need to you know curve this place to give it this shape right here. So once I'm done doing this, so I also added half an inch seam allowance around here. So, so the next, so what I will do now is I'll cut this out. Remember, you are not cutting, you are not cutting this yet, okay? You are not going to be cutting this yoke out yet because I'm going to be using this, you know, this pattern to cut the lace. So, I'll put this aside now and also bring the the back bodies and show you what I did on the back as well before I use it to cut the lace so this is the back you might be wondering why I have all of these markings here but I will explain to you, explain everything I did here to you so now the for the back as well I use I use um four inches for the width so then the back because the style i'm doing is going to have loops at the back so there is no need for seam allowance 
around here so i did not put i did not impute my you know seam allowance so the the half length i'm using is 16 and half so on the 16 and half i added half an inch to it the half an inch that is half inch for joining this you know the m line to the peplum to the flay and also the half an inch to join the shoulder so that by the time i join the shoulder it won't affect the length that's why i added another you know half an inch so the remaining half an inch is just an extra because by the time you join all of the by the time you you are done with the back you might be short by half an inch so i like adding you know extra half an inch to my back measurements okay but if you don't want to add it there is no problem you can just you can leave it the way it is so now so on a normal day i'm supposed to i'm supposed to use a pattern to draft what i did here because the reason why i'm supposed to use a pattern is because the same allowance i'm going to be adding on the yoke and also on the you know lower parts but because i don't want to I don't want to cut it on the pattern paper so that was why i did it here and i did some things to it in order to avoid in order not to you know draft it on the pattern paper so what i did was from the shoulder to the chest line this is a chest line around here right here is the chest line so from the shoulder to the chest line that's where you're going to determine how low the back is going to be if you check the picture well so from the chest line i came down by i came down by one inch so after the one inch i took extra one inch the extra one inch will serve as so the extra one inch half of it will serve as seam allowance for the yoke here and the remaining half will serve as seam allowance for the lower part here so that was why i did these blue lines here is the extra one inches i added here so mind you when you are now cutting the length the extra one inches you measured here you need to add it back to your length because you are still going to take it off by the time you take it off you'll be short of fabric if you don't add it back and that's the seam allowance for the yoke and also seam allowance for this place i hope you understand it's just like doing like this if i take this off now i'll be left with something like this okay if i take it off can you see so that's what i meant by the seam you know the seam allowance so this is the seam allowance for this part and this part here is the seam allowance for this part i'm going to take it again this right here is the seam allowance this here is the seam allowance for the lower part here why this is the seam allowance for this yoke okay because this yoke i'm going to be cutting it separately it will go inside inside this lower part here so that's why i'm adding half an inch but if you feel you don't know how you can do this you can just do it on your pattern paper okay to avoid making a mistake so now when you are now measure so once you've added half an inch here that means when you are adding your vertical measurement you need to add extra one inch to it for instance the shoulder to the bust here should be was supposed to be nine and half but because of the one inch i created here okay you need to add it to it that will now make it ten and half so the under bust here was supposed to be 14 was supposed to be 14 and half so because of the one inch i took around here so i added one inches to it one inch to it to make it 15 inches by the time you take this in now you know for instance if you measure from here to here now and you have 15 inches by the time you're taking this one inch seam allowance you left around here you will get four and a half, 14 and a half again okay so that's what i'm trying to explain because i don't want to do it on the pattern this is why that was why i did it here okay so now the next thing you do is the loops the, this is where the loops is going to begin this is the actual measurement okay
okay so this place now i'm going to be cutting this place off and the lobes will replace it the the lobes and the rope will replace this place we are cutting off okay so this place now i'm going to be adding half an inch seam allowance here okay i'll add half an inch seam allowance here so this is the center back i took four inches nipple to nipple measurement so i took half an inch on both sides okay i took half an inch on both sides so at this side here this leg is going to extend to you know it was supposed to extend to the chest line but because of the one inch I took away around here, okay, that's why it's stopping around here. But I'm assuming this place now is, you know, the chest line. So then you connect to this place. This place now, I'm going to be cutting this place off, you know. So this is the same allowance for the lower part here. So I'll cut it like this and this will be left for the yoke so um, i'm going to slit this into two that means the back is going to be is going to be in two pieces okay so i'll do that right now so i've also taken the the measurement i've inserted my measurement the back measurement the you know uh, the bust measurement the under bust and the waist measurement and remember what i did at the front here i you know came up by half an inch from the seam allowance then i curve i curved it from the half an inch you took out here that's going to serve as so once you connect from the shoulder line here so this is where you are going to extend the line to okay not to this place because this is the new center back now you know we are cutting this place off so this new place is where you connect the lines from from the shoulder from the shoulder to this place so this is what i have after cutting so this is the half an inch seam allowance for the yoke and this is the half an inch seam allowance for the lower part here now i'm going to cut the dart and also this place and i'll also add half an inch seam allowance to this side because that's where i'm going to be putting the loops